Today I'm helping you decide when to wait for the doctor or head to the ER. When something goes wrong in the playing field, the decision is obviously very hard to make. Let's have a look. Ever since I can remember, I've been a soccer player. Soccer is absolutely my favorite sport. About a month ago, I was playing and I received the ball from the pass. And I go at this defender, I get past him, and I'm gonna have a shot with my left foot. Defender comes from behind my right side, gets me right behind my knee, and I hit the grass. And I knew it was bad. I went to see Dr. Powell. So Cody, here's your MRI. What we're looking for here is a nice black cable that connects these two bones. And as we go through, we don't see that. So unfortunately, you've torn both the ACL and the LCL. No, 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 don't tell me that. For me, there's nothing worse than being injured. All I want to do is play. And so not being able to do that, it kills me. There's no way you can get back to playing because you're missing two of the four ligaments in the knee. Whereas if we reconstruct it, the likelihood of you getting back to play is very high. All right? Well, let's do it. I'm just looking forward to having it done and being ready to get going again. We sent our cameras into Cody's surgery to see how an ACL and LCL are repaired. Today we're doing a reconstruction of the ACL and the LCL, uh, two of the main stabilizing ligaments in the knee joint. So here's a normal ACL. Cody doesn't show any of those fibers. So in this setting, it's what you don't see that tells you that the ACL is torn. Mm -hmm. These are the two uh, tendons that we're taking from the hamstring to replace Cody's ACL. Now we're in the back of the knee joint. So here is what the remnant of the ACL is. This reamer will create a tunnel that's the same size as our graft. So at this point, we've passed the graft up through the tibial tunnel into the femoral tunnel. Now we're going to put in interference screws. And that what that does is it allows the tendon to heal to the bone and become a new ligament. All right, so now we're going to dress the LCL with the scalpel. So this is where the tendon was torn. This is where we're going to put our tunnel. So now we're going to pull them through into the tunnel that we've created. So the two bands are here, go down through the fibula, comes out the other side, and then both of them form this triangle. And then we put in an interference screw. We check our range of motion. We're finalizing the fixation. All right, so we're good to start close. Cody is here along with his doctor, Dr. Scott Powell, orthopedic surgeon from Stetson Powell Orthopedics and Sports Medicine in Burbank, California. Welcome to you both. Thanks very much. Thank you. And your post-op now, a couple weeks, how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. I can move it a little bit more now than I could and uh, starting to be able to stand and slowly walk. So getting there. And you were actually doing a double repair, ACL and LCL, which uh, explain to people what that LCL is in addition to the ACL. Well, the LCL is uh, the lateral collateral ligament. Uh, that's on the outside. The medial collateral ligament is on the inside. The medial collateral is torn probably 15 times more than the lateral collateral. So actually, Cody's uh, injury is not that common. The lateral collateral goes from the head of the fibula into the bone above, which is the femur. Provides stability to the knee. You harvested both cadaver tissue and a hamstring tendon to Correct. repair these? Correct. There, there are four hamstrings two very small ones and two very large, robust ones. The two small ones you can actually harvest. It's similar in a way to your appendix. You don't really need it. In Cody's case, we were able to take two of those uh, smaller tendons and use those for the ACL reconstruction. And then is it true that the, the cadaver ligament that you take eventually becomes Cody's own in some ways? It's a remarkable thing that if you were to biopsy in a year and a half his normal knee and the cells from his operated knee, you could not tell the difference. Let's talk really quickly. When do people with an acute sports injury need to think about, you know, I gotta go to the hospital versus not? Well, there are a couple of clues. First of all, if you hear a crack or a pop in a joint, you wanna rule out a fracture with an x-ray. The other thing is if you look at the joint and you see a deformity, the bone doesn't seem to be in the right place, you could have dislocated that joint. That's one you wanna to get to the hospital and, and have you take a look at. But there are things we can do to prevent these injuries, hopefully in the first place. Absolutely. The key to prevention is to strengthen the quadriceps and the hamstrings muscles. If you look at this, the quadriceps are in front, the hamstrings are in back. In addition, core conditioning gives you good balance. And so that's the takeaway. If you have a strong supporting musculature of your knee, 
It's going to be more stable. This injury will be less likely, but like in Cody's case, sometimes it happens, and surgery is required. We wish you the best of luck.